everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so in this video and uh, honestly this is one that i've been thinking and debating whether i should make it in the first place or not and i've been uh i've been wondering should i wait a little bit see how the game uh, goes before i do it but can, looking at the recent uh releases that have been made in Genshin, the recent uh, character design choices, the recent enemies that have been released, I do think that this is, at least so far, a very appropriate topic to talk about. And it is a very important one, because Bennett is no longer the best character in the game, right? And uh, when I say Bennett is no longer the best character in the game, <laughs> obviously I, I am saying that Bennett is a garbage unit and you should never play him, right? That's of course the message I'm trying to convey. Because when I say Bennett is no longer the best character in the game, the first thing that your mind should think about is that Bennett is not a good unit and you should never play him, of course, right? Obviously not. And if please, if you thought that I'm saying even for a second that Bennett is not a good unit, please... I have, honestly, I have nothing to say to you. If you thought Bennett, I'm saying that Bennett is not a good unit, then uh, may God have mercy on your soul. That's as much as I'll go. But Bennett is still a strong unit, of course. He's just not as powerful, as unbelievably dominant that he, as he used to be back in the days. And that is because of many, many factors, but primarily because the game has been actively griefing him. The Spiral Abyss has been actively griefing him. Characters that have been released recently are actively griefing him. There are so many ways that the game is being purposefully designed around Bennett and to circumvent Bennett or to counter, even counter Bennett in uh, some situations. And the most infamous example of this are, well, I suppose... You you can you know the abyss heralds and the abyss uh, electors that counter or I, that melt and vaporize uh, their attacks onto you when you are infused with pyro. Those are enemies that notoriously one shot you if you are using Bennett. And uh, of course that doesn't mean Bennett is bad against them because Bennett is still a very solid option to use against them. It's just that he's no he's. He, he comes with very major downsides that he never came with before. Because usually when it came to picking Bennett, he was always... Also, by the way, if you were wondering why I was hitting the walls over there, they usually have hidden walls in this area. So Bennett usually comes with major, major upsides and no downsides. That, that's that been uh, the way he worked for the vast majority of the game's lifetime. But now picking Bennett has real downsides. And other than the enemies that have been released recently in Genshin, there is also a major trend in character releases ever since Sumeru came out, where the characters that are coming out, characters like Nilu, characters like uh, even Elhaytham, honestly, in most situations. There are there are exceptions, but in most situations, even Elhaytham doesn't really want Bennett on his team. And if you look at the characters that have been released, it's there. They simply do not work with Bennett, and this problem that really began to fester with the, the release of Death, uh, the initial release of Pogmari, to be more specific. Because, and you know what, let me go back to this. If you think for a second, for a single sliver of a second, that Dendro as an element was not designed with, with Bennett being a major factor in the mind of the developers, you are blatantly wrong. Dendro was designed specifically to not need Bennett because Bennett has been honestly a thorn in the uh, developer's side for a very very long time because he, this guy is well known to be the only six star unit in the entire game that's how powerful he is and the fact that he is still a god tier unit even to this day when the game is actively griefing him only goes to show how unbelievably powerful and unbelievably broken this character is because he is still a god tier unit even now he's just no longer the best and let's say the game stops doing bennett grief they stop like intentionally designing content around him uh, is bennett going to become better yes because bennett is an extremely contagious character and i suppose however are very much aware of this and this is uh this is bennett's own way of being uh having intrusive compatibility with almost everything that scales with attack because if your character directly scales with attack then bennett by far has the best buff in the entire game 
And at C6, this is unquestionable. Because Bennett's constellations, and actually this is something that I should talk about, Bennett is so good that even at C6, if you compare five-star C6 characters, Bennett still holds his ground uncontested as the best character in the game, at least before Sumeru. And I am talking characters that are so broken. We're talking C6 El Haytham, C6 Yelan, uh, C6 Hu Tao. Bennett is still a usable unit with those characters. Well, he's not usable with El Haytham and Yelan, but uh, C6 Hu Tao still wants him. And he's, he's still a very powerful character that uh, competes with those units even at C6, of course, when he himself is also at C is at C6. And uh, going back to what I was saying, Bennett provides the biggest buff in the entire game for any character that skills with attack. He works as a driver, he works as a uh, healer. Obviously, he's one of the best healers in the entire game for, for a very good reason. Not because he heals the most, but because he heals enough and then does everything else so well. And uh, the best character in the game right now uh, is honestly, it, it's between two characters. You have Sincho, who I already made a video about him, and then you have Yelan. And I think that at the moment, they are the two best uncontested units in the entire game. And that is because unlike with Bennett, whose, whose element is being griefed by the design of Dendro, or who is being actively griefed also by the general content that has been released recently, Singchu and Yelan significantly benefit from the content that has been released recently because not only were they already really powerful units, they were already S plus tier units, but Singchu and Yelan, Hydro, their application, their element, the way they work, it synergizes almost seamlessly, almost perfectly with Dendro. In fact, you know what? Not almost. It synergizes seamlessly and perfectly with Dendro. They are so well made for that element and that elevates them significantly now when it comes to pyro pyro has burning and uh, virgin and burning i don't think i need to uh, introduce it it leaves much much to be desired because the reaction is uh, kind of a meme outside of air fryer but yeah, yeah i mean air burning isn't too garbage it's just that you almost never want to use it because the other reactions are significantly better and Burgeon is honestly a good reaction, and you can play Bennett and Burgeon. There are team compositions that uh, actually uh, uh, benefit from that, but the most popular Burgeon teams are ones where either Shangling is the trigger or where Toma is the trigger, because those are the uh, two infamous Burgeon characters. And here's the thing. Dendro significantly uh, rewards you for playing its reactions because of how powerful the dendro reactions are at the baseline level you have uh, hyper bloom virgin quicken aggravate and spread and of course there's also bloom but when i say bloom i am only talking about nilo because bloom outside of nilo is a meme so virgin is very good but it is only one reaction, and it's competing with many others. And because of that, Pyro in general, the value of Pyro went down when uh, Dendro came out, and the value of Hydro was catapulted enormously into relevance. And Bennett, because of that, Bennett, uh, well, his own value went down, and as a result, the other characters like Sengcho and Yelan, who are already very, very powerful, their value went up. So, realistically speaking, Bennett is hes going to go up in value at some point, because Natlin, this is inevitable, this is not something that we can uh, circumvent. Natlin will come out very, well, not very soon, but right after Fontaine, in a year. And when Natlin comes out, I have a very, very difficult time seeing how Bennett is not going to synergize almost perfectly with the element that not only almost definitely requires uh, pyro and pyro buffs, but also the element that scales with attack, because pyro is the resonance of attack. And every single pyro character in the game scales with attack to some degree. Of course, uh, you have the Hu Tao, and Hu Tao do still does scale with attack. Uh, I, know she I know you build her with HP, but Hu Tao actually scales with attack. If you look at Hu Tao scaling, they are attack scaled. And going back to uh, characters that 
do not really work well with Bennett. Characters that scale with HP are not ones that are ever going to use Bennett. Nilu, of course, has her own limitations because of the elemental uh, restrictions that uh, are built into her kit. But other units like uh, El Haytham, other units like, I suppose, who else? Tornari as well. They do not really want Bennett's attack buff. They want other buffs that are more conducive to EM. And because of that, Bennett is, uh, well, no longer as good as he was, but eventually he will return to being one of the strongest characters in the game. And I will be making um, two more videos about Bennett before Fontaine comes out, uh, because it, it, it is interesting to see where Hydro, where more Hydro units are going to take Bennett, what direction they will shift him. Do keep in mind, he will remain a very powerful unit, but I do expect a lot more uh, let's say this, a lot more HP scaling units that do not necessarily benefit from Bennett's attack buff or Bennett's spiral buffs in general. And because of that, I think Bennett will remain... Well, Bennett is going to keep getting briefed, at least for uh, the uh, foreseeable short future. And then he will return to being one of the strongest characters in the game when Natlan comes out, when the Pyro Archon comes out. Uh, uh, sorry, I apologize. Bennett is the Pyro Archon. When, like, other Pyro characters come out, I do think Bennett's relevancy is going to be catapulted back into one of the strongest characters in the game. Well, he is one of the strongest, just back to being the strongest. That's what I'm trying to say. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of what I wanted to say. I will be making a Bennett guide before patch 4.0 drops. I think that is almost a necessity because uh, more Hydro characters are coming out. Perhaps some of them... Of course, there's also Lenny coming out, and Lenny is a Pyro character that... Uh, I do think he's probably going to want to use Bennett uh, as a support. And because of that, it is worth uh, making this video, just talking about why he is not the best character in the game, and why he will eventually become, or eventually return to being one of the best characters in the game later on, so do not worry. So, this is all that I have to say. Uh, more Bennett videos will come out in the later half of this patch. Other than that, take care, and I'll see you in the next.